Hiya folks, I think it's about time we started restoring these old world's worst lawnmowers. Let's start off with the first one we found and got going, this hater. See you in a minute. Right, well we're going to have a go at restoring this hater now. Now this one is complete, it hasn't got a grass box with it, but um, it's got all the handles with it. But the trouble is the deck is in the right old state. Now technically speaking, normally you would junk this, so I don't know whether I'm going to junk it yet, the deck, and transpose this engine onto another deck. But uh, we're going to have a go at repairing it. Let's have a little look around it. Well, as you can probably see, there's plenty of corrosion on this one. It's gone through there. I don't know how far this goes until I strip the paint off. It's gone through there as well. Um, maybe even there, I'm not too sure yet. And over the back there, there's some bubblage as well. But uh, we know the engine runs. We know the wheels and everything are all there and the, the mechanisms. The handle is in a pretty much a bit of a state, as you can see there. So that's going to need refurbishing. And apart from that, it just looks a bit rough all around. So it's a pretty nice day out here. I'm going to do it outside. I'm going to start stripping this down and put you on time lapse. So let's get this thing taken apart. See you in a minute. Still not going to give out hope until I actually get the deck right stripped down because I could weld a plate in there. I'm not too sure yet, but um, I'll only know if I start taking all the paint off. And to do that, I've got to get this engine out. So bear with me. I'm going to try and work something out. If I can get these bolts out now, then we'll look a little bit further. So I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay then, so we've now got the motor out. I'm just going to give this a quick wire brush down just to see what we're left with and see if it's worth uh, trying to preserve this deck. So stick with me, I'm going to put you on time lapse for that. See you in a minute. is a dirty job right okay then so we've sanded it down now normally you'd bin this you wouldn't go no further with it because there's too many holes all around it so as you can probably see we've got this bashed in bit at the front there we've got all this here which really all would have to come out we've got perforations all the way through there and also around the side there as you can see there's a big square piece there which really would have to come out as well. 
The rest of it we could treat with the uh, vac tan treatment, that will stop the rust from coming through. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at patching it. Now, as I said, this is purely not for making money. This is, let's say for example, you want to start learning to weld. This will be a good little experiment where you can practice on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to cut out one portion here. This is probably the worst part of it. And I'm just going to see how it performs. And we'll, we'll try and weld a plate in there. So let me cut this bit out now and then we'll take it from there. We'll measure a plate up. I've got some spare plate and we'll see if we can just weld it in just see how it performs because if the deck can't actually take weld because it's too per uh, rusty underneath it's just not worth going any further so we'll give it a go anyway so uh, let me get the gear out and we'll start cutting this out Well, that's a fair enough chunk hole out of that one. Um, I'll get a bit of paper template made up now. We'll just put some cardboard behind it, draw around it, and then we'll make a bit of metal up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay then, let's have a little look. It goes in there hopefully. Just need a slight more bit off of uh, this angle up here. There. And then we'll, we'll weld that in, so I'm happy with that. I'll just trim that back off and then we'll weld it in. Well, one of the problems we get in, which I thought we'd be getting, is that we're actually blowing holes in it because you've got to be really careful how, how you operate the trigger. It's it's tapped in, um, it needs a bit of dressing, and I've got too much of a gap here to be honest with you, so uh, that's my fault. So I'm just going to zip round it a bit more and uh, try and get some more permanent welds in there, and uh, we'll take it from there. Right, well, as you can probably see there, that's what we've ended up with along there. It's not too bad. Just give it a bit of a straight down. So we could give that a bit of a grind back now just to see what it looks like. Right, so. We're left with a nice solid, left with a nice solid weld, and all I will do with that is just put a thin skim of filler over there, just over that seam because it's flat there on the top layer now, and hopefully that'll take it in. So I'm just going to spend some time. I'll probably put you on time lapse and then we'll weld this in, see how we get over these big gaps. I'm not too bothered about a gap there because I can always fill that back in with filler, a little bit of filler at the end of the day or some fiberglass. So I'm going to just carry on with this, and I'll see you in a minute.
Right, okay then, we've just applied some uh, rust treatment, that's called the Vactan treatment, which I use. And I'm just gonna let that go off now for about 15 minutes. And then I'm just gonna apply some P40 isola, uh, isopon filler, which is a fiberglass based filler, over the top of this, uh, our area which we've repaired, and then we'll sand down. So I've just coated all of this as you know, but around here, don't forget we're gonna be chopping a bit more out. You don't probably got to see that, I'm just gonna do exactly the same as this. And uh, I'll let that go off then, put the filler on the top, and then we can come back and hopefully start addressing the other holes in it, and then we can move forward and start to prepare it for paint. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay then, so that is the Isopon P40. I was hoping to do a lot more today, but <laughs> there's me Isopon P40, as you probably know. And there's me hardener packet, look, all gone. I've got some other filler through there which uses the same hardener. That's disappeared as well. I think Jimmy's been pinching it for his uh, unit when he's been running low, so I'm gonna have to get a new restock of this, but I'm gonna let this go hard. Now we might as well end this video here and call this part one. Uh, so as you can have a recap, what we've done, we've uh, ground off the surface, we've identified the, where the metal needs to come out. We've cut out a patch in this main one here. We've put the patch in with the welder and we've gone over it now with some P40. Let me show you a bit nearer, just so you can see the, uh, the, the way it looks now. So as you can see now, it's still wet at the moment, but we've actually taken in that curve now and everything looks fine as it should be. As you, can see, as you can see there, that's the underside, what it looks like. So that's gonna seal in nicely. And when I give that a good undercoat underneath, I could even go on the inside there with some filler as well if I wanted to, some more fiberglass just to reinforce what's already there. This has all been scraped out now. So this is ready for a good cleanup. So this once scruffy deck, which was totally dead, is on its way back now. So um, meet me in part two, when hopefully I'll have the other patches in at the sides of there and maybe a few at the top here, which I need to put in and the deck will be ready for uh, preparing for the undercoat or primer. All this has been coated now with the Vactan treatment, as you know, which is the rust stopper treatment or rust converter. And don't forget, this isn't the sort of thing you're gonna do to make money. You can either do this sort of thing as a project or a hobby, or maybe you wanna have a little practice doing some welding, but you, haven't, you don't fancy trying out on your own car, for example, where you can cut patches out of, a, of your old lawnmower. This could be an old lawnmower that you, you've had for years and years and you've grown quite attached to. I do know that I've got my original lawnmower when I moved in this house 17 years ago and I'm a bit reluctant to get rid of it because it's a bit sentimental now and I've still got loads of lawnmowers around the house but I still find myself using that same one and repairing that same one. You may be like that. So it's purely for fun this is and if you want to do the same. So do check it out in part two and we'll see what we can do uh, with this lawnmower to see if we can bring it back to life. Anyway, thanks for now. See you back in part two. Bye for now.